Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install PHP on a Chromebook. You'll first want to enable the Linux development environment. I have separate videos on that, so check those out if you haven't done so already. And then once you do that, you want to open up a terminal here. And um, what you're going to do, let me get this a little bit larger for you so you can see what I'm doing. So you want to ma first make sure everything's up to date. And you can do that by typing sudo apt update and then two ampersands for and sudo apt upgrade dash y and that's going to run through and make sure everything's up to date i think on my installation everything's up to date so it's just going to say yeah zero upgrade zero newly installed zero to remove and zero not upgrade so if you do have to upgrade stuff though it'll go through and do that and then we want to clear this out and we want to type in sudo apt install php and then a space php dash common and we'll hit enter and it's going to ask us to take at the time of this recording, 29.1 megabytes of additional space. If you watch this later on, that might be slightly different. Um, at the time of the recording, it's PHP 8.2 on Debian 12. So we're going to go ahead and let that run through, and then I'll create a folder. We'll create a simple PHP file and start up the local PHP server. So this won't take that long. I'll just let it run. Maybe it's taking a little bit longer than I expected. Depends also on your internet connection. And we're almost there. Okay, there we go. You can, <laughs> you can stop with me being a goofball in the little corner there. Okay, um, so now let's create a folder. Let's make a directory, we'll call this uh, I don't know, sample.php and let's cd into sample.php and to start up a local server well let's clear this out first so you can see what I'm doing I'm going to type in php and a space dash capital S and then localhost and wherever port I want it to run let's just do uh, 4000 and there we go we've got a server starting up let's open up sublime text here and close out what I was working on and let's just um, Create a new file. Oh, got some message from packing, package control. Let's create a new file and let's save it in that folder. And so we got sample PHP. I'm going to save this as maybe. Hold on, let me go back. I'm going to go back to sample PHP. I'm going to record this, or I'm going to save this as index.php. Okay. There we go. Thanks for bearing with me there. All right, so let's create a couple of PHP tags or a PHP tag. Let's just echo, uh, hello, my name is Tim. We're just having a tag like this. I don't have to close it, but obviously you can get more complex as you go. Um, this is just to show you that the server is working. So let's go open my browser and we'll go to localhost 4000 and we see, hello, my name is Tim. I'll zoom in on that for you. There you go, it's echoing it out. You know, we could mess around and change this. So I'm in double quotes, so I could do something like name, and then period, and up here I could say name equals, I don't know, let's do Timothy. Okay, save it, refresh, and we got, hello, my name is Timothy. All right, so we got PHP running on the local server. If I wanna stop the local server, I go back to my terminal here and just do control C and it closes out the terminal, or the server. That's all there is to it, to installing PHP on a Chromebook. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe.